Hi everyone, this is Ms. Vera and today I'm going to show you how to write the lowercase z in cursive. Today you're going to start off with the curly curve pattern as neatly as you can going right across to the end and you'll see that this kind of looks like what we're going to do with the lowercase z. Yeah, so the lowercase z is quite tricky. It takes quite a bit of practice because of all the little loops that it has. But the more you practice, the easier it's going to be. So starting just like you did with the curly curve when we did the pattern, we're going to go up. Cool, but we're going to go around this way. Little loop on top of the line, round, give it a tail, and then come straight up. It looks beautiful, but it is absolutely tricky. Up, round, little loop on top of the line, round again, make the loop, pull the tail, and straight up, like that. Okay, now we're going to join it to the E. Up, round, little loop down bigger loop and then into the e like that remembering that your e has a straight back and right up then we're going to join it to the a up round little loop and then bigger loop and then into the a now don't freak out if you find this quite challenging at first it is a tricky letter it takes a lot of practice to get it right and then we're going to join it with the u as well little loop down big loop and then into the u like that okay then we are going to write three words starting with the word zip around little loop big loop into the e and then into the p like that and then we give it a little i then the next word is going to be zoo into the o and then into the next o and then the last one is going to be zag, which isn't really a word, but finding words with a Z is quite tricky. Zag, as in zigzag. Like that. Okay. Then these three words you are going to transcribe into cursive, jug, way, and tin. And then you are going to end off with a curly curve pattern, like we did at the top. Round, like that, as neatly as you can. Okay. And there we go. Now, this one is going to be a bit tricky, so try your absolute best. And remember, the more you practice, the easier it will be and you will get it right eventually. So good luck and have fun.